played by John White for South End United to the halfway line. Can't find a blue shirt. They're predominantly white, as mentioned, South End United this year. Ball is on the Stevenage left. Wells plays it forward. Headed away by Michael Timlin. Adam Barrett going in with the challenge. And a challenge in by Pett. Still the cross comes in. And it's uh, gone through to the goalkeeper, Daniel Bentley. Parrot, I think, was the man actually in with that challenge. And uh, he was lucky to get away from the uh, ball. All right, it's very, very aggressive. That's for sure. Again, the referee does absolutely nothing. Phil Brown is fuming with the referee. I, I think he, he's got, he's missed a few clear fouls here tonight. Here's... Deacon, right hand side to Kennedy. Deacon looked for it back, but Kennedy slides it into the uh, middle of the park. Walton with a misplaced pass. Away by White once again. Can't find a teammate, but here is Ryan Leonard. Leonard out to Worrell on the right hand side. Back to White. Now a long ball for by White. Barry Core going up free. Felt he should have had a free kick. Nothing given. Ball is over the top. Offside decision as that was played forward. Just looking at uh, Michael Timlin. No ill effects from the challenge that we saw in the first leg at Broadhall Way at the weekend. His headgear has done the job. He's done great. He really has. He's, he's been industrious. He hasn't shirked any challenges. There's a one time when he went up with the arm. I wondered if he was protecting his head a touch but but yeah he's had he, he, selection has paid off less than two minutes to go of normal time are we heading to extra time at roots hall ball is on the right hand side with ryan leonard for south and united he goes down under challenge it's a soft free kick to give away by Akimo, and they could be made to pay well these are the chances you dream about when injury time is first fast approaching mclaughlin will go over and whip this in i think McLaughlin is over on that far side. Once again, there's a shed load of Blues players inside the penalty area. And the height of John White is also coming up to try and get on the end of this. Again, the one-man wall is Kennedy.